love you. Entertainer of the Year Award to Michael Jackson. Will you be there with me? When wrong, will you scold me? When lost, will you find me? But they told me that you were faithful in walking my table. I'm trying to be here, but I'm only human. I wrote Will You Be There at my house Neverland in California. I didn't think about it hard. That's why it's hard to take credit for the songs that I write, because I just always feel that it's done from above. <laughs> I love you too. I feel fortunate for being that instrument through which music flows. I'm just the source through which it comes. I can't take credit for it because it's God's work. He's using me as a messenger, the star said in an interview with Ebony in 1992. No one can quite say what the creative process is, because I have nothing to do with it almost, because it's created in space, it's God's work, not mine. It was Quincy Jones who instilled in him this modesty, which allowed him to remain humble about his work throughout his life. Michael Jackson's music has touched millions of fans worldwide for decades. His music is not just about entertainment, but also about connecting with the listener's emotions on a deeper level. One of his most beloved songs that carry a powerful message is Will You Be There? The song has been interpreted and appreciated by many as a heartfelt plea for love, connection, and hope. Here is the meaning behind the song that has captivated worldwide audiences. Will You Be There is a song by Michael Jackson which was released as a single on June 28, 1993. The song is the eighth single from the 1991 album Dangerous. The song gained recognition for its appearance on the soundtrack to the film Free Willy, 1993, under the title Will You Be There, theme from Free Willy, of which it is the main theme, and was also included in the album All-Time Greatest Movie Songs and video game Michael Jackson, The Experience. With the album version clocking in at 7 minutes and 41 seconds, it is the longest song in Michael Jackson's solo discography. Will You Be There gained immense popularity when it featured in the movie Free Willy. The song became a massive hit, and it was nominated for Golden Globe and Academy Awards for Best Original Song. Michael Jackson wrote, composed and produced this song to convey his positive and healing message to the world. He wanted to inspire people to believe in themselves and to support each other. With Will You Be There, he conceived a song with a structure consisting of several parts, a long and ambitious tapestry of sound, with an ever greater taste for narrative. When I listen to the wind, it tells me the secrets of my destiny. But when I listen to the music, it's Michael Jackson who's inspired me. Congratulations, Mr. Jackson. You are the entertainer of the year. In it, he explores subjects his work had not touched on until then, spirituality, faith, and the questions all human beings grapple with when faced with the doubts sown by life's trials. I believe in spirituality and I believe in a higher source such as God. I believe in God, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very much. Will You Be There is a song that is full of emotions and hope. It is a plea to the listener to have faith in themselves and to know that they're never alone. The song talks about finding strength and comfort in the moments of despair by looking within oneself. Through the lyrics, Michael Jackson wants everyone to know that even in the darkest of times, they can find hope and love in their hearts. The theme, played on the piano as a series of chords in the finest gospel tradition, is supported by a jerky rhythm that nevertheless still soars. The song ends with a monologue by Michael Jackson, who wonders aloud whether someone will be there when he faces difficulties alone. These lines are a touching and sincere echo of the questions he asked himself from his lofty status as a global star. In our darkest hour, my hope is despair. Will you still care? Still care? Still care?
Will you be there? In my trials? In my tribulations? Through our doubts? And frustrations? In my violence? In my turbulence? In my fear? In my anguish? In my suffering? In my joy, in my joy, in my joy, in my sorrow, in my sorrow, my sorrow, in the promise, the promise, promise of another tomorrow. Of another tomorrow. I'll, never you I'll never let you. I'll never let. I'll never let you. But you're always. But you're always. You're always. In my heart. In my heart. In my heart. The most significant part of the song is undoubtedly the closing lines, when Michael's voice starts to break as he begins to lose control, culminating in his speaking the last line through tears. The song closes with the emotion still hanging in the air, as palpable as the reassuring beat steadying it throughout. Behind the universal message, the star in fact reveals far more of himself than in any of his previous songs. Will You Be There became yet another successful single from Dangerous, peaking at number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100, selling 1 million copies and earning a platinum certification. Outside of the United States, Will You Be There peaked within the top 10 of the charts in Belgium, Canada, the Netherlands, New Zealand, the Republic of Ireland, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Jackson revealed in Living with Michael Jackson that Will You Be There was one of several songs he wrote in addition to Heal the World while at the Giving Tree, located on his Neverland Ranch property. I call it my giving tree because it inspires me. Uh, I love climbing trees in general, but this tree I love the most because I climb up high and I look down on its branches and it gives me, I just love it, so many ideas. I've written so many of my songs in this tree. I wrote um, Heal the World in this Tree, Will You Be There, Black or White, um, Childhood. First I'd like to say thank you to my mother who's here tonight. She's the one in blue. Thank you for giving me life. I really mean that. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. They told me about you Uh...